question I want to ask everybody in here. Of the sharpeners that are in here, how many have been able to go to one business and stay there for a minimum of six to eight hours and work all that time at one business? Okay, that's good. Is this business in a big town? No, no. You guys know where I'm going then. My best days are at towns of 100 people or less. I send out flyers because all these little towns have got one hair salon. Been there for years. She knows everybody in that town. I send a flyer out three to four weeks before I go there. When I show up, I've got farmers, ranchers, wives bringing me knives, scissors, pruners, loppers, you name it, they bring it. If I can't sharpen it there, I take it home, mail it back to them. Don't leave these little towns out of your sight. They'll make you the money that you'll be surprised because I also sell a lot of other equipment for the groomers and the vets. Farmers need them for their FFA kids, uh, shampoos, conditioners, stuff like that for their FFA uh, projects and stuff. You'd be surprised what the market is in a small town. But send them the flyer, get that foot in the door, let the hair salon know when you're coming and she'll open that door and you'll be welcomed in. How do you get those addresses and to send them the flyer? What I've done is when I was driving from one place to another, I started seeing all these little towns. And so I got on the internet and looked to see if there was a hair salon or a vet or what business was in that town. When I find there's a hair salon, then I went in like, okay, I'll use Wakita, Oklahoma, a town of 45 people. I went into that town, introduced myself to the hairstylist. She gave me two shears. She'd never had anybody stop in. She didn't know there was people like us. I sharpened those two. She was impressed. She gave me some knives. I sharpened them. Uh, she, uh, I told her if I give you, let you know when I'm going to come back. She said, that'd be great. She said, I'll tell everybody else. I sent her three flyers. She put one up in her shop, one at the cafe, and one in the elevator. It's the only businesses that are in this town. <laughs> but I showed up at 8 o'clock that morning. I had to stay overnight. Wow. I had to go back the next day, and I finally left about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I made well over $1,000 in a day and a half. And that was just a little town of about 45 people. But they were coming from all over because the nearest big town was 100 miles away. Don't bypass these little towns. Are you mobile? I am mobile. Well, in the sense that you do everything in, in I do, I've got a 96 Ford Windstar van. I do everything inside the van. Right. Do you stand up? Or sit I sit down. down. <laughs> I sit down. Ask Bonnie. You go on her blog. Yeah, You'll see go, a picture. Go to BenicaShears.blogspot.com. There's a uh -huh. thing that says sharpening bands, and if you scroll through there, you'll see. I, I take pictures. Anybody's got some sharpening bands here. I mean, I like to keep a collection of pictures because it's nice to share, you know. But, uh, yeah, in that little van, I do all this sharpening. The only thing I've got to stand outside for is, like, the pruners, loppers, and the chainsaws, but it, the machine is mounted in the van. Tailgate comes up, and I'm just standing right there underneath the tailgate and doing it. But other than that, everything else I do inside the van. And it's a mobile unit, and they love it. Chainsaws. So. You do chainsaws? Yep. <laughs> During the fall, I've got more chainsaws than I know what to do with. Because uh, in Bartlesville, a town of 35,000 people where I live, there's only one sharper, and that's all he does. And he doesn't do a good job. <laughs> People found out about me, and I can't. I, uh, right now, I've got. I called the wife last night. I've got uh, <coughs> fourteen or fifteen chainsaw blades waiting for me. What do you charge to do a chainsaw blade? Six and a half for sixteen inch on shorter, seven and a half for anything larger. But I don't repair them. Just, just. The I just sharpen them, and I set them, and go from there.
but don't bypass those little towns. How do you do knives, Robert? I got a Tormac. I do it on a two inch wide Japanese wet stone that runs 90 RPM in water. I create no heat, no sparks. I don't distort anything. I can do the Japanese convex knife. That is an art because if you do a knife on a wheel, you get a concave. Japanese knives are convexed. Mm. And I can do them. That charge I most to do a knife. <laughs> five and a half no matter what the size. Okay. Uh, jack knives are four dollars, five and a half if it's got more than one blade. Well what you came up with was totally different than when you said stay in one place all day. Mine is at a factory. Uh, like uh, where they and then also I've got a mattress Beach. factory in Bartles Hill. I'm uh, there all day. Myrtle Beach, I've got a quilt show I service. Yep. And that quilt show, there'll be a thousand or so people <laughs> at that quilt show. <laughs>